know it's the holiday season. You know we've been through a lot of tough stuff over the last year and a half, maybe a little bit more, but you know what? This takes a minute to make the whole thing brighter. Bring us a toy. That's right. Thank you, Hank. And more great holiday music on your Christmas connection right here on North Carolina 1049. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Welcome, Santa. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We're Senator Todd. That's Senator oh. Todd. That's what I thought. You didn't know thought, me from my list. I, I, <laughs> you got to work on that. You got to work on that naughty list there. <laughs> Welcome, Santa. Yeah, All right, right, we got about thirty Boy, seconds to your time. Hey, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, we got singers too. Um, not yet. Well, he already crossed that line with me and asked me about uh, how naughty I've been, and that uh, is not something we're going to put on the air. But at any rate, the uh, Santa, it's great to have you. We're going to want to talk to you shortly, but I know that one of the things Santa loves, in addition to milk and cookies, he loves to hear great Christmas music, and we actually have some folks that can help with that, and we're... Very delighted to be joined once again by the Beverly High School Chorus, and they are led by Mrs. PK. I never know how to say the rest of it, so I hope you'll indulge me. But thank you so much for being with us yet again. Oh, you're welcome. We're so excited to finally be able to be out in public singing again because of all of the restrictions. Last year, we weren't even allowed to sing, and I didn't even get to see these children in school. We did everything virtually last year, so we're so excited to be out and singing again. Well, it must have been a really difficult time because you just have such motivated, talented students, and I know they love to sing, so how did you get through the pandemic? You mentioned some virtual stuff. Uh, they're what kept me going. Last year, we would show up every morning at 7.20 online, we would have our course lessons, and then they would submit videos of themselves, and i put them all together. Uh, we even did a virtual musical last year where we re pre-recorded all of their voices and then we filmed them dancing on stage because we couldn't sing in person, but we could dance and then matched it all up together and made a movie last year that we had a viewing of at the end of the year. So we managed <laughs> because of their dedication. I, I you know, I, the, the students are laughing because they can see the look of amazement on my face. And, and the reason part of that is, first of all, if I had to be at a 7 o'clock meeting on Zoom, I'd have to be up at 5 o'clock to figure out how to do it. And second of all, one of the things that, you know, we do uh, every day in my office, we have a staff call because a lot of folks are working remotely. And when it's someone's birthday, we try to sing them happy birthday. And I will tell you, when you have like a dozen people trying to sing on Zoom, the result is not necessarily pretty. So I am amazed that you were able to coordinate that to capture the talent of these wonderful students. Uh, it was a, a labor of love. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. So this year, um, what's happening? I know you probably have a, a concert or two and things going on. We do. Um, we just sang at the tree lighting that we had downtown Beverly, and uh, we'll be singing at a couple of nursing homes in the next two weekends. And then we have our concert at the high school on the 21st. Um, it is open to the public. Okay. We're just It's a fully masked event. Okay. And we're asking um, if people come that they just try to leave a seat between them and people that they don't know so that we can kind of social distance a little bit. But it's on the 21st, it starts at 6.30 and it will be the entire music department performing. And it's at the high school? At the high school in oh. the auditorium. Oh, that's amazing. Fantastic, that is so wonderful. And uh, you know, it's, you know, some things, work to your advantage. I mean, I have a face for radio, so when I wear the mask, it works out to my advantage. But, uh, but you know, it's a small small price to pay to wear a mask to hear this wonderful music. Now, I'm guessing uh, that you have some music ready for us. We do. And what are we going to hear? Yeah, we, uh, we're going to start with a song that's called the Ding-a-Ding, -ding, all about the bells of Christmas. Wonderful. Thank you. Let's uh, hear from the Beverly High School course with Ding-a-Ding. -ding. Ding a ding a ding, ding a ding a ding, dong ding a ding a ding, ding a ding, ding a 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 ding Sing merrily on high, hear the bells ring, oh dear, ding dong ding, 
But you know what? It's important that they do stuff for us all of the time. And we always need to say thank you to the friends at the Beverly Police Department. Let's give them a round of applause. Keith, you were out there bright and early. You, you were in the parking lot, I think, before we were this we, we were waiting for you. Absolutely. Ready to go. <laughs> you know, I get a little nervous when I hear the chief say we were waiting for you. But, <laughs> but, but, but it's great to see you, and we so appreciate you being with us. Uh, it's a great thing they do every year, you do every year, Abba Sean does every year. And one of the things we'll remind people, if they can't get here today, we want people to come here today and make their donations. We did our toy drive last week, but the police station's open 24 hours a day. If you're coming in for any business, bring an unwrapped toy. We'll make sure that it gets to the right uh, people, our, our people, uh, bootstraps, or whoever, whoever we donate to. Um, you know, we have the drug boxes in the lobby. If you want to get rid of unused drugs, come in, leave a toy with us also. But make sure to put the right thing in the right, right box. <laughs> Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Don't go away. It's great that you're continuing to do that. And I think that's so much about what makes our local police department special is you're out there enforcing law, of course. That's the job. You have to do the job we need you to do. But it's so much more than that in terms of community involvement. We definitely like to be involved in the community. Uh, get into our neighborhoods, talk to as many people as we can. Uh, we have uh, some donations are made by the Kraft family at the station, too, for veterans. Uh, that need things, homeless veterans. So there's always little things that we can try to do for the community. So, Chief, if someone wants to arrange to bring you some toys uh, and let you know they're coming, is there a non-emergency number at Beverly Police Absol Department? Absolutely. So 978-922-1212. That's pretty easy to remember. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> you guys think of everything. <laughs> I, I didn't think of that one, but uh, I'll take credit. Have yourself. 